Okay, welcome back to the Blender Research Lab. This is an overview of the Python interface. Um, the, the interface uses uh, X embed protocol to embed multiple windows. I have GIMP, I have Nautilus embedded here. These programs can all work together in the same GTK application. Chrome is also embedded. Hybrid has a built-in web server and web socket server. On the right side, there's some, some tools here that if you click on them, they expand. And there's two main material options. There's the WebGeo tent and the the, uh, the Blender material. The tint updates in real time in WebGL and this just tints the, the baked, uh, the material that has been baked to a texture map. If you change the uh, material color in Blender here, you have to hit refresh here and it will reload uh, what you have selected. While uh, it's baking, you, you cannot really interact with Blender, so you have to wait until it's, the bake is finished. These, uh, these tools can be torn off and they become uh, floating widgets. You can drag this to another monitor as well. So let's set up um, subsurf on this, uh, on this mesh. And you can just interact with it by um, changing the slider here. Streaming mesh will work for objects that are um, less than 2,000 vertices. So this model is too, too dense to have streaming mesh. But this, the floor, we could put um, some surface on that, turn it up a little bit. And we could put a wave modifier on here. And let's um, play back. This um, device is, is uh, hooked into um, game pads, remotes. You can use these as uh, drivers to drive any um, any setting that you can that you find in here. So let's see, just put a. Um, Put an array modifier on this. And um, so the count had this. <coughs> The, the count we're going to control with the gamepad. And we do that by um, drag and drop. This is the, um, the output of the gamepad here. And if we drag the output onto the count slider, it becomes a driver for 
before that. So moving the moving this uh, the axis can control the, the slider. This works for any any slider you see in the interface can be driven by gamepads or remotes or whatever devices are supported in the future. All right, let's put a texture on this uh, on this object this character. So first, I'll assign a. Uh, texture to this character and you can drag from Nautilus to the, the first texture slot and we can see in Blender the, that texture is there. You can adjust the opacity here and then to see the texture update we have to rebake re that uh, texture. Let's open the uh, the texture in the GIMP. And if uh, we can just drag and drop this, or uh, get something else. Drag and drop that. We'll save it. And then re rebake. texture is baked uh, progressively starting in low resolution maybe 64 by 64 and then it increases uh, up to uh, whatever you've set. Okay, let's set up some uh, some physics. So let's create um, create some cubes. Up here, this this controls if the object is going to have collision. So I made the this the floor, and let's make these cubes. We'll give them. <coughs> Body, uh, rigid body and collision. Collision, rigid body and collision and rigid body. In order for these uh, cubes to appear in the WebGL scene, we have to give them UV mapping. So uh, just unwrap.
these are the physics settings up here, the mass of the object, collision type, friction, the bounce. Let's go ahead and give this more bounce. Physics is turned on and off here. We can link these um, these together using um, joint uh, physics joint constraints. So if we open up um, this outline. Let's tear it off. And let's see, we have cube two selected, so we can make cube one and um, cube three. And we can change this to ball, ball joints. And let's run the simulation again. That may all fall together, but if we lift this out if we apply upward uh, force to this cube it'll pull the other cubes along with it Let's map the um, gamepad to control the um, left-right movement of the, this main cube. The, the color of the light, we can set it here. And the, the energy of the light is set here. The, uh, this WebGL panel controls different WebGL effects. And again, we can control um, these using the gamepad or any device, we just drop them onto the, uh, the channel that we want to control.